Hey guys, Eamon here, finally starting up Legend of Korra. Uh, you guys have been telling me forever, it's really good, I gotta do it, I gotta do it. So yeah, we're, we're hopping into it now. Um, it's been about two, two weeks, two and a half weeks since we finished uh, Avatar and, and the live action. Um, yeah, amazing show. Live action, not so much, but the cartoon was amazing, uh, really good. Yeah, you, you guys are just, you guys are saying Korra was just awesome. So yeah, very excited to check it out. Um, yeah, um, I guess if, if you're new here and you haven't seen my Avatar reactions, they're actually on, on a different channel. Um, I ended up splitting my channel apart because we kind of, I was more focused on like sports stuff on that channel. So yeah, I figured I'd split it apart. Um, if you want to check those reactions out there to Avatar, all three seasons and, and the live action, I'll have them in the description. Uh, it'll link you to a different channel, but yeah, they'll be over there. I, I didn't think it was worth re-uploading the, re the, uh, the whole show. So yeah, it'll be over there. But yeah, this channel will be for going forward. We'll have Korra and other stuff in the future. Um, but yeah, so what do I know about Korra? Um, yeah, for the most part, I've gone in blind. Um, there's a couple comments that have that spoiled me a little bit. Um, like I do know it's it's a sequel. That's the first thing. Um, Korra, I'm assuming, is that means Korra is like the next Avatar. Um, and then I believe there there was one comment on my discussion video. I think that said it was seven years in the future. 70 years in the future so yeah there was more to that comment but i stopped reading after i read that because i kind of wanted to i wanted to keep it pretty pretty blind reaction but yeah so it's 70 years in the future so that ang would be like 83 84 i guess so yeah um i think that means we're gonna see i feel like i might have yeah i've definitely seen like like thumbnails and stuff from other reactors of for legend of korra so i, I think the gang will be in legend of korra but they'll be really old which which will be kind of cool to see old man ang old man Sokka. which one actually who would i like to see the most who would be the funniest as an old person Pro probably still Toph. i'd assume Toph would be yeah Toph would be pretty awesome as an old lady <laughs> Yeah, that'll be fun. If we get to see them, I'm assuming we will, though. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure we will. Yeah, and then I believe it was you, Muffin, uh, who said that the seasons aren't really connected. Like they are, but they're not. Like there's no like overarching plot like there was in in Avatar, um, and that was due to like the show kind of. They didn't know if it'd be successful or not. I guess so. Season one's like its own thing, kind of, and then season two is like its own thing, and they just kind of went like that. So that's cool. Yeah, more like a little little mini 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 series type thing. That should be that should be good. Um, yeah, anything else I need to say? Um, oh yeah, we're, we're gonna be doing Mon Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. Um, yeah, sh should be, should be Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Double up, double two episodes per, and then I guess maybe the finales would be just one episode. Um, or, or three episodes we'll see we'll see we'll see for the finales because they'd be like an, uh, and they're an odd number of episodes per season right so yeah I might do might do one episode for finales um yeah and then yeah the, the editing might be different um i do have someone that might be helping out with the editing for for cora so yeah it might, might be better i'm assuming it'll be better <laughs> shout out to my, my guy cj uh we'll see uh yeah, my editing before in, in Avatar and stuff is pretty bare bones. I just kind of, yeah, chopped it up and yeah. Uh, we'll see if he does anything different. It might look a bit different. Some episodes I'll be editing probably, so I might switch between that. But yeah, you'll still see my reaction. So it's, it's fine, it's fine. Um, and yeah, I guess, yeah, it, it, and going back to if you're new here, I, I will do a little... Um, I'm gonna try to discuss the end of the, each episode, uh, or at the end of each episodes, a, a bit more than in Avatar. Um, I kind of just do like a little couple minutes talking about it, but I'm gonna try to maybe do a little bit more because I know people enjoy that. Not everyone, but some people do enjoy like me discussing it. Um, I am not the greatest at like. Usually, I need to go and like skip through an episode and stuff and kind of remind myself exactly what, like. I mean that makes it sound like I don't pay attention. I pay attention. It's just yeah, I'm 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 not great at like remembering specifics like right away. I'm, I need to kind of like see yeah, a thing that more organs. Maybe I could actually skip through the episodes like on camera, 
while they're doing the discussion, that might be fun. Anyways, this, uh, this intro is way too long. Um, if, if you've been watching the whole intro, thanks. <laughs> uh, but yeah. And yeah, I'll, tr I'll try to do some time, some more time codes too for the, uh, for the episodes. I'll try to have like key moments more so in the, in the time codes. Anyways, okay, I keep talking. Let's just hop into this. I'm so excited for the legend of Korra. Earth. Fire. Ooh, okay, we continuing with this, this, I'm sure, I think this is different, yeah. Are these all, is that Katara Aang and... When I was a boy, yeah. my father told me oh, a story cool. how he and his friends heroically ended the hundred years awesome. of Avatar Aang and fired Republic Bro, the, the quality looks so much better. I'm actually, I'm gonna restart this whole thing. This is, this, I was not expecting this to be so, uh, yeah, let me, let me, let me read this into that. That was awesome, though. <laughs> okay. Kiyoshi, Roku, there's Aang, Adult Aang, oh my god. Is that supposed to be Katara? Avatar Aang. Okay, so it's Told Aang's, Aang's children, or child. Heroically... United Republic, okay. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! Avatar came to an end. Oh my god. Like the cycle of the seasons, the, the cycle Legend of, of the Korra. I'm gonna pause it for a second. That was a crazy intro. Yeah, the, the like, quality, the video quality and, like, I guess the animation stuff looks like it's a lot higher quality. Um, yeah, that was awesome. So I guess we, we might see, the, is the story going to be told in the perspective of Aang's son? That'd be pretty cool. And yeah, like, the whole, the city looks, it looks like it's, like, modern almost. Like, there's, like, skyscrapers and stuff, which is, I feel like, yeah, we didn't see, like, the, like, yeah, like the design of the, of this stuff is a lot more uh like like real life modern looking which is really cool um yeah anyways okay book one air chapter one welcome to republic city white lotus shout out okay we have investigated many claims all have turned out mm. to be false what makes you so sure your daughter is the one oh wait was that Cora in the intro uh, is, is the water here. is the water avatar it might be <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like Toph. Jeez, she's just gonna already bend and do everything? Wow. Yeah, what, is that her? That, that must be her in the intro. For for the water. It looks like her. Jeez. She's strong. She lacks restraint. I guess... Yeah. I'll, I'll save that for a quieter time. Oh. Is that Katara and Zuko? Potentially? Ever since you were a little girl, you've excelled at the physical side of bending, but completely ignored the spiritual mm -hmm. side. The Avatar must master both. Ready, Master Katara? It is Katara. Awesome. Is that Zuko then? The yeah, these, so there's, there's airbenders now. Would they all be descendants of Aang then? Or is there more... Yeah. I'm not sure how, like, the tribes are... Ooh, I Naga. Butt, and I <laughs> Was it a polar bear puppy? <laughs> the new Appa? Go, go, go. <laughs> yeah, the animation looks really good. Oh, let's go! Is that... Did Appa have... Is that Appa? Or did they have... They breed more uh, sky bison? Or they find more? <laughs> oh, okay. It is Aang's children. And grandchildren. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so it's it's um, yeah, that makes sense. Like their air bending, earth bending center is kind of it's like passed down through your uh, yeah, it's passed down. It's not just I don't know I don't know why I'm even questioning that. That was, that's pretty obvious. Grandmother Milo. <laughs> but yeah, okay, so this is all Aang's family. Awesome. <laughs> I've been reading all about your. She's the grand grand now. I've been dying to ask you, what happened to Zuko's mom? Well, Nora, it's an incredible tale. Oh my god. Making me go get the comic, are you, Nickelodeon? That that kid's giving me Ty Lee vibes. I'm just pregnant. I'm a soulbender. Definitely Aang's grandkid. Boomy. <laughs> yeah, so how, how is there uh, another Sky Bison? They must have found another one somewhere. Or maybe 
a month? Yeah, I don't know. If you can't stay here, then I'll go back to Republic City with you. Yeah, it's that perfect. makes sense. She's going to the city. Hundred <laughs> percent. Oogie. Yep, yep. Oogie. Oogie. So so cool to look at. So cool to look at. <laughs> yeah, she's she's definitely going to Republic City. <laughs> Nice night for an escape, isn't it? <laughs> my brother and many of my friends are gone. Oh, okay, Sokka's dead too. And you... Off to Republic City. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, it's straight up like a real... Yeah, they've got, they've got cars now and stuff. It's like, it's like, it looks like it's based off of like New York, kind of. There's grown-up Aang. <laughs> I don't have any money. Then what good are you to me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's definitely based off New York. You can't fish here. You better settle. Yeah, the art style is so cool. Of living under the tyranny of vendors for the equalists. There's a cool looking. Is that a mask? Yeah. Amon. That's. You can fit Amon in, in my name. <laughs> I would love to knock me off this platform with some water bend. I'm seriously thinking about it. <laughs> this is what's wrong with the city. Benders like this girl only use her power to oppress us. <laughs> what? I'm not oppressing anyone. You're oppressing yourself. That didn't even make sense. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Uh, is that going to be a major plot point then? There's going to be like an I think I'm lost. an uproar against the benders. From here. You should get moving, young lady. It isn't safe. Mm. Oh, was that? That's Amon. Yeah, there's like gangsters and stuff. I don't know, that's not a mom. That's just a just a gangster. Business has been slow. Please take one of my phonographs. Why would you I see her in action? <laughs> You're in triple threat triad territory, and we're about triple to threat triad in the hospital. Who do you think you are? Why don't you come and find out? <laughs> okay, she, she's pretty badass. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, triple threat triad, so they're in earth, water, and firebender. <laughs> yep, yeah, she's the avatar. Okay, so she can do everything except for airbend. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> she destroyed some lady's business. <laughs> she's gonna get arrested. <laughs> Okay, so these like Dali agents kind of. Oh, they're metal benders. Nice. I guess Toph must have taught a bunch of people how to. You're under arrest too. <laughs> yeah, she's <laughs> she's just like what? All right. You can explain yourself all you like down at headquarters. <laughs> <laughs> the music's a little weird in this so far. So it's in a couple like questionable. Ooh, that was a cool shot. Oh. <laughs> okay, she's like a crazy. She's crazy powerful. She's like way. She seems way more advanced than Aang was at, at the non-air bending stuff. Yeah, not a fan of the music so far. There's just it just seems a bit weird to me. But. Well. <laughs> Of destruction of private and city property. Was it Toph? Okay. You're in a home mess Big statue for Toph. But there were some thugs threatening her. I'm so dumb. Okay, so Toph was a major. She like was like the key part of like building this city. Okay, it's like an industrial revolution. That's what that's what it's like. Yeah. Yeah, like eighty years is a time. Like yeah, if you think about how like eighty years ago in real life, it's like crazy how much different it is. So, yeah. So Toph was like the main. She taught every like a bunch of people that metal bend. They built built a crazy city. Metal bending in general just advanced. Like there's cars. There's 
like way more like ships and stuff and yeah awesome but the shopkeeper and oh i am well aware of who you are mm -hmm. wait Bayfong, lin Bayfong, you're toast oh what of it awesome well, why are you treating me like a criminal okay Avatar Aang and your mother were friends and it's got diddly squat to do with the mess you're in right <laughs> now <laughs> Lynn, you are looking radiant as usual. Cut the garbage, <laughs> Tenzin. Why is the Avatar in Republic City? If you would be so kind as to drop the charges against Korra, I will take full responsibility for today's regrettable events and cover all the damages. <laughs> Fine. Always a pleasure, Lynn. Let's go, Korra. <laughs> okay, so Lynn Bay <laughs> Hmm. Toph's daughter, okay. What is... Tenzin, please. Platypus bear? Back. You blatantly disobeyed my wishes and the orders of the White Lotus. Katara agreed okay. with me that I should come. Don't bring my mother into this. <laughs> Look, I can't wait any longer to finish my training. Republic City does need you. But it needs me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, polar bear dog. Is that actually what Aang looked like when he was grown up? Doesn't look, look very much like him. <laughs> I have to go home now. Let her stay. What the heck? Wait. Let's go. I thought I should put off your training in order to uphold his legacy. But you are his legacy. Yeah. Republic City needs its avatar once again. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yeah, Hello? it's so weird seeing it like. I'm Cora. It's like modern. Your new avatar. Not modern, but like, what is this, like. 60s? 60s, 70s type vibes? 50s Will you be working with Chief Beifong and the police? All I know is Avatar Aang meant for this city to be the center of peace and balance in the world. And I believe we can make his dream a reality. I'm so happy to be here. Ooh, who's that? Is that gonna be Amon? What was it? Amon? Yeah. How do you want to Amon. So, the Avatar has arrived early. Ooh. It looks like we'll have to accelerate our plans. That is so creepy looking. Yeah. Nice. Okay. All right. So that was episode one of Korra. Um, really cool episode. It's not what I was expecting at all. Um. Yeah, so I, yeah, I don't know why I didn't expect that there'd be like crazy technological advances with like the water or with the, with the metal bending and just like the passage of time, I guess. Um, yeah, that's wild. So Toph pretty much built that town or she was like instrumental, I guess, in it. Um, yeah, so we're following Aang's kid, Aang's children will be in it. Katara's still alive, which is awesome. And she mentioned many of her friends are past, but that means like some aren't so that'll be cool to see who ends up showing up i'm they are they confirmed Sokka had passed away as well so not Sokka. so Zu they leave zuko and toff i think and then like they'll be like like suki and them and stuff could, could be uh can still be alive i guess we'll see we'll see um yeah yeah i, I forget most of the names already that'll take me a minute i might have to go look at them after this um yeah, I'm just gonna hop in episode two right now. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll hop in episode two and then we'll do we'll discuss it a bit further. I'll, I'll look up some more uh, some more info that I missed. Once you do that, all right. Oh, this is a different intro. The Legend of Korra. Okay, yeah, it's a whole different little screen there. Book one, air chapter two, a leaf in the wind. Is that Augie? Is that what it was, Augie? In the final I forget the name, my bad. Decisive knockout. What do you say we go to the arena tonight? That <laughs> sport is a mockery of the noble tradition of bending. <laughs> Come on, Tenzin. I've dreamed about Toph the probably created it. I was a kid, <laughs> and now I'm just a fairy right away from the arena. Cora, you're not here to watch that drivel. You're here to finish your avatar training. <laughs> So yep. my mother informed me that Mama. I've never been able to no more offspring. Every single time I've tried airbending, <laughs> nothing. Hmm. That's perfectly okay. all right. We just need to be patient. Often the element that's the most difficult for the avatar to master is the one most opposite to the avatar's personality. Mm -hmm. For Aang, it was earthbending. 
Yeah, well, I'm about as opposite an airbender as you can get. In your <laughs> first lesson. I'm gonna airbend! Cora's gonna airbend! <laughs> what is that contraption? The goal is to weave your way through the gates and make it to the other side without touching them. Seems easy enough. Hmm. You know, I forgot to say you have to make it through while the gates are spinning. <laughs> yeah. The key. A leaf in the wind. Flow. That has tripped me out. Oh my god. When you meet resistance, you must be able to switch direction at a moment's notice. Hmm. Let's do this. <laughs> Yeah, the the music's kind of bugging me. I'm not gonna lie. I think that's supposed to be like they're trying they're kind of trying to mimic the 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 time period that this is set in, like based off real life, kind of. Be the leaf. Uh oh. Excuse me. Oh yeah, they they got a bunch of appas. Okay, they must have found. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'm just not cut out to be an airbender, huh, Naga? Naga. Grab your snacks and grab <laughs> the sentries are watching. This match is gonna be a doozy. Clock is winding down. Can Yomo hold off? He's teetering on the edge of the ring now. The fire parrots light up the strap. Cora, come down here, please. You shut it off at the best part. I thought I made myself clear. Anyway, shouldn't you? Shouldn't you be in bed by now? <laughs> The sass, oh my god. <laughs> she just she can't sit still at all. There's nothing to do, for air is the element of freedom. <laughs> yeah, you're telling me to embrace freedom, but you won't even let me listen to the radio. <laughs> Look at Milo. He's able to meditate peacefully. <laughs> He's just sleeping. <laughs> Well, at least he has the relaxing part down. Whatever. <laughs> I know you're frustrated, but these teachings will sink in over time. Yeah, it's not sinking in yet. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a glass of leachy juice. Daddy, can I have some leachy juice too? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> that kid's yeah, hundred percent. That kid is Aang's grandson. Oh shit. Alright, you can just water bend up your Must be freezing. Cool. Yeah, did Toph start that? Toph must have started that that whole thing there. Or had a hand in it, because yeah, Toph Toph is a big fan of that. Is there gonna be posters of her up on the wall? Probably. doing in my gym uh i was just looking for a bathroom and i got lost oh <laughs> the old i had to pee excuse you know i'm sick and tired of you kids sneaking in without paying i'm taking you to security no it's all right toza she's with me yeah i'm with him so you see <laughs> we're together well not together together more like friends right <laughs> no no i didn't mean to imply oh you <clears throat> implied it uh, i don't care <laughs> uh, thank you sir seriously no he's an airbender or no, he's a metal metal bender. What do you think? Yeah. Best seats in the house, huh? Whoa! Unbelievable. Jeez. I told you, you have to stop bringing your crazy fan girls in here before <laughs> the matches. Get her out of here. Wow, I, I heard you play on the radio. Come on, boy, <laughs> we're up. Cool. This is like, yeah, this is like Toff's thing on like steroids. The fire ferrets, yeah, they they said that in episode one, I believe. Or was it the, was it the start of this episode? The uh, came from out of nowhere and have made it further than anyone expected this season. Okay. Three on three. Toughest test yet, folks. Hasuk is the first to feel the heat of the tiger. Hasuk. He tries to return the favor, but they're too fast for it. Marco's over the line. The tiger dillos get the green light and advance into ferret Ooh. territory. Okay, this is cool. This is really cool. Oh. Jeez, they're getting absolutely the smoked. The oh, there's more. There's more the rounds. Round. The fire ferret sinks the round in the nice. closing seconds. It's one apiece. Still anyone's match as we go into the third and final round. Uh -oh. Ian Bolin. Uh oh. Quick if they don't want to... oh, too late. oh no. Oh no. One v three. There's he's no way. And bobbing, but he's 
not hitting back. If Muckles knocked out, the ferret's fabulous season is over. He sees his plan is to let the Tiger Devils punch themselves out. And his plan is working. Han is in the pool. They've got There's one. left in the tank and Mako is on the offensive. There's so much smoke and dust from the firefight, I can't even see where the fire ferret is. Nice. Damn. That's awesome. This sport, like, really, yeah, this is a really cool uh, idea Woo! for a sport. Yes! That was amazing! You did more harm than good out there. You almost cost us the match. Get off my case, pal. <laughs> she gonna join up? She, she's gonna join up. She's gonna be the third one. Yeah. I'm just not sure how my earth banding would translate to your water banding, but we'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. No, no, I didn't mean to assume. That, you know, I was just figuring. You, you didn't water see the news or whatever? You are a water I'm very confused right now. <laughs> You're the avatar, and I'm an idiot. <laughs> are true. <laughs> no. <Fake> avatar. <laughs> that's, that was just like Sokka right there. That was really funny. Lighten your toes right up until the moment when you need to dig in and strike. Then, pop up. <laughs> What's it take to impress this guy? What? <laughs> I said not bad. <laughs> Why don't you throw that combo one more time? Lighter in her feet, that'll be good for uh really good for her, yeah, for her or her airbending. Twinkle toes. <laughs> oh my god, she's <laughs> gonna destroy it. Yeah, that's not ideal. Easy there, Azula. Holy. <laughs> I was about to say. Oh my god, that kid's mouth is gigantic. This looks a no good no show. Yeah, she's she's gonna join up. Yeah. I'm a, they show up for the championship match with a ringer. But you're the avatar. Isn't that cheating? <laughs> no way. I'd rather forfeit than look like a fool out there. Wow, thanks for the vote of confidence. <laughs> hey, I didn't agree with this. You can thank me later. This girl is crazy. <laughs> the fire ferrets have ferreted out a last minute replacement waterbender. Let's <laughs> oh, they don't know it's her? Okay. Try not to get knocked off the ring. You got <laughs> it, Captain. <laughs> Does even fit her? Are you ready? <laughs> Just immediately wins. No. Fire ferret waterbender penalty. Move yeah. You have to go. shoot him out right. the back, right? Yeah. Not the side? You're only allowed to knock players off the yeah. back of the ring. Not over the sides. <laughs> Foul over the line. Move back to zone three. Show you over the line. <laughs> the platypus bears. <laughs> the platypus bears know a green player when they see one. She's gonna accidentally like earth bend. Wait a minute. Did that water bender just earth bend? Yeah. They're not allowed to do that, right? Is that the the rules? Foul, I think. Yeah. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> the avatar, folks. <laughs> Can you believe that? I'll get her myself. <laughs> the avatar oh my God. can be permitted to continue so long as she solely bends water. <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh oh. I thought you didn't like coming to these matches. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, you have flagrantly disobeyed my orders. The Avatar needs to learn airbending. It is not optional. I have a match to go finish. Hmm. Looks like the Avatar's pro bending debut is going to be cut short. Hold the phone. Stop the presses. She's still in the game, folks. All of a sudden, the platypus bends. Yeah, she's using, using what? She's using the airbending uh, oh, about advice. Nice. <laughs> Why is he he's, he's already cheering. Yes. <laughs> the way you dodge their attacks, you are a natural. Someone else taught me those moves. 
<laughs> no, they're fixing it. By the way, you were really good out there tonight. You move just like an airbender. Wait, you stayed and watched? <laughs> Pro bending turned out to be the perfect teaching tool for you. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow for airbending practice, bright and early. And by the way, I kind of permanently joined the fire ferrets and we're playing in the tournament in a couple of weeks. <laughs> All right, is it a potential love interest there? Yeah, seems like it. All right. Okay. Yeah, so that was the first episode of Legend of Korra. Um, not was that not what I was expecting at all, to be honest. Um, yeah, it, it, it's weird seeing the universe kind of so like so more so much more like te technologically advanced. I guess it would be the term. Um, yeah, it's like we're in a whole different, like yeah, it's like a, it's a whole different show. It's completely different. Um, yeah, it's cool seeing a couple a couple of the old characters though, like yeah, Katara. Uh, well, I guess just Katara. We didn't see anyone else, right? No, we haven't seen anyone else except for Katara um, from the original show. Oh, yeah, they they pretty they pretty much confirm that there are other people that are still alive that we'll recognize and stuff in the future. So that's cool. Um, yeah, the whole is the, the pro pro bending. That's really cool. That like yeah, that'd be such a that'd be so cool in real life to watch that man. Um, yeah, that's awesome. I mean, it doesn't really serve too much for. Her, I get well. Yeah, no, she's she's learning how to bend better by doing that. So that's good at least. Um, but yeah, no, just just a really different version of of like yeah. I still don't really know what the or I guess we do. Yeah, we know we know what the overarching plot for season one is going to be. It's going to be the uh, was it Amon, Amon? Yeah, yeah, Amon. Um, yeah, there's some type of like anti-bending group. Like a, I said, be like a terrorist organization, I guess. That's like against um, the benders, kind of. It's sort of giving me um, kind of like the X like X Men vibes. Um, or where, where it's like benders versus like, I guess like humans or regular people kind of like they're, they're kind of forming like they're, yeah, they're like scared of them kind of. And it's, yeah, it's like a, yeah, Inter I'm interested to see how that goes. Cause yeah, the first episode has been pretty, pretty, um, like not eh, like childish, I guess would be the, yeah, not really childish, but they've been not very, not that serious so far. Um, so yeah, if, if they're going that route with the story though, that, that's a pretty serious, like, you can make all sorts of like, uh, like metaphors and stuff for that. So that, that'd be an interesting storyline. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just to learn more. Yeah. It, it is kind of funny. Like Amon is A-M-O-N, which is like the middle four letters of my name, which is <laughs> funny coincidence. Um, but yeah, so yeah, a bunch of, bunch of new characters though. I got to remember all their names. I'll probably learn them. But yeah, so it's Ten Tenzin is Aang's, Aang and Katara's, uh, son. Uh, do they, do they have more than one children? More than one, uh, more than one child? Um, did I see another one? I'm not sure. I think, if, I think only one that we know of. So Tenzin's one. There could be more though. Um, I, I feel like it makes sense for them to have a lot of kids because to kind of like bring the airbenders about. But, it, but, but Tenzin's the only airbending master, they said. So maybe they only have the one. Yeah, that seems like it'd be a waste though to just have one kid when you're trying to like, like repopulate like a, a race of people or are they a race, the airbenders? Yeah, we'll call, we'll call them a race. They might be called something else, I forget. Um, yeah, so Tenzin, uh, Naga is her, is her version of Appa, her little, her pet buddy. Um, was it Ogi? Ogi is the sky bison for Tenzin. I believe I might, might have that wrong. Um, yeah, I, I, don't, I guess I need an explanation unless they explain it in the show. Then don't tell me in the comments. But yeah, I, I would need an explanation for why there's more uh, sky bison because I, I thought they said uh, Appa was the last one. Unless they can somehow, yeah, maybe they there's cloning or there was there was more sky bison. There's they just didn't know where they were. 
Yeah, maybe the Scott Mason just kind of left after when the Airbenders got taken out and they, they migrated somewhere else. That makes sense. And then, yeah, there's a bunch of Momos hanging around. I, I think, yeah, Momo wasn't the last one. He was just like, yeah, he just decided to leave just because he felt like he felt like going with the gang at the time. Um, yeah, so what else do I need to touch on? Yeah, well, yeah, there's Katara and was it, I forget the name of the, the fire ferrets. Katara and the one guy, they seem like they're going to have a little relationship, it seems like. Um, yeah, we didn't get a ton of, yeah, T Toph's daughter, T Toph's daughter, I forget her name, was it Lynn? Yeah, Lynn, Lynn, I think was her name, is the, she's like the, the was that the chief of police, is that what she was? believe so that's that's kind of interesting that so yeah then Toph had Toph had kids I wonder who the father would be I'm gonna assume it's not um someone we know I don't think she wasn't really paired up with anyone I know she, she had like a crush on Sokka but I'm pretty sure Sokka would have been with Suki right um yeah and then I guess Suki Suki we don't know where she's at Zuko I really want to know in episode one they made a they made like a joke at like a meta joke I guess about like not knowing what uh not knowing what happened to uh Zuko's mom I wonder if that if the comics had already explained that when when the, that when this episode aired or not because I'm not sure when the comics actually came out so me yeah, I mean, it would be I'd assume based off that they probably explained it after the show came, after Korra came out in the comics because yeah that seemed like it'd be a, like a weird troll to just like troll the fans of Avatar <laughs> about not explaining where where she went or what happened to her and when the comic was in it. Um, anyways, um, yeah, what else? What else do I need to... Um, the, what's it called? The White Lotus, they're, they're like in charge of the Avatar, it seems now. Which makes sense, because they're like, yeah, they're like the whole... Like, yeah, they're all, they're all like all the nations combined, kind of unified, and they're, yeah, they're like, yeah. And then I believe they said, is it the United, United Republic? Is it's the fifth nation that Zuko and Aang created, which that's that's yeah that's cool. Um, yeah, so I think that's yeah that's the basics, right? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really like yeah I'm curious to see what, what, what the direction is going. I guess the plot is just going to be like kind of fixing Republic City will be like the, the storyline for season one, um, along with her learning airbending, obviously. Um, yeah, I guess, yeah, we need to learn more. There's, we're too early in the season really to know where exactly what's going to happen. But yeah, like, Amon, Amon seems like a really cool character. Just on the limited uh, glimpse we've seen, he has a cool, looks cool um, for a bad guy. That's always good. And I, I mean, he might be, he might actually not even be, really be a bad guy. Like, I assume, based on what, what, what we've seen so far, he's like a gray character, it seems like. He might be one of those characters where it's, like maybe his family was killed by like benders or something like that and maybe there are well i mean we've seen that there's a bunch of gangs of like benders and stuff so there are lots of people are using their bending for bad so that um it makes sense that a character a character would like that can't bend would want them to be like gone i guess that you can always make the argument for like yeah um yeah anything else you need to cover no, I think that, that's, that should be good. That's, um, yeah, no, it was cool. I guess the only thing I didn't really like was the music. Um, not all the music, but yeah, I guess they're, they're kind of going for like the 19, I think it's the 1960s, but it seemed like it was almost like 19, like 1930s, 1940s type of music is what they're using in a lot of the scenes. Um, and that's, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that, like time period and stuff. Um, I always, it always kind of makes me like, I don't know. I it just yeah, something and something about it just kind of bugs me <laughs> for for whatever reason. But yeah, I, di I didn't love that type of music. So hopefully, I, they did they did go some more classic Avatar music in some scenes. Hopefully they more lean towards that. Cause I yeah, I wasn't a huge fan of the music in in, in those couple couple of scenes at least. Um, yeah, go under there. Thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, if, if make sure to sub if you're not subbed. Uh, we got yeah, we're gonna do Monday, Wednesday, Friday for Legend of Korra. And then yeah, we'll sprinkle some other stuff in. Um, yeah, I guess we'll. I should have three body problem episodes up 
by the time this one's out and then yeah we're gonna do we're gonna do movies once in a while um we got dune 2 will be the first movie to get done because yeah i've been waiting for that for a while i was gonna go see it in theaters but i ended up not um yeah and we'll, we'll, we'll sprinkle those in on the, on the weekends i guess we'll sprinkle in movies and then yeah we'll see uh yeah thanks for watching have a good one